Maybe it was the Oh, no, you can't have I mean, if she's fine. Let's do this. Oh, let's have the bowl behind us. That'd be Oh, yeah. <laughs> Francis Ford over here.
with the songs performed live and by their original vocal artists and, and with the composer and lyricist reprising his role as Jack Skellington. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Nightmare Before Christmas. Once upon a time, I'd like to 
them out. You who deny what I do, I am the best. All my talents are renowned far and wide. When it comes to surprises in the moonlit night, I excel without ever even trying. With the slightest little effort of my ghost-like charms, I have seen grown men without a shriek. With a wave of my hand and a well-placed moan, I've swept the very bravest off their feet. Yet year after year, it's the same routine, and I grow so weary. The sound of screams, and I'm Jack, a pumpkin king. I've grown so tired of the same old thing. Oh, somewhere deep inside of these bones, and the emptiness began to grow. There's something out that far from my home. Thank <laughs> you. 
Christmas cow. Thing 
called a present. The whole thing starts with a box. A box? Is it steel or a box? Is it built with a pot? A box. How do you like a box? Just a box with bright colored paper. And the whole thing's found with a bow. A bow? Wow! Well, what's in it? What's in it? The point of the thing is that the it's a bat! It's a bat! It's a rat! It's a break! Perhaps it's the head that I found in the lake. Listen now, you don't understand. That's not the point of Christmas land. Now, pay attention. We pick up an oversized sock and hang it like this on the wall. Oh yes, does it still have a foot? Let me see. Let me look. Is it ragged and covered with good? Let me explain. There's no foot inside, but there's candy. And sometimes it's filled with small toys. Small toys? They bite and they smell. It's part of the sand. And perhaps it's a great light scarecrow. What a splendid idea. This Christmas sounds fun. I hope we endorse it. Let's ride it away. Everyone, please, now not so fast. There's something here that you don't quite grasp. Well, I may as well give them what they want. And the best I must confess, I'm saved for the last, for the ruler of this Christmas land, is a fearsome king with a deep, mighty voice. At least that's what I've come to understand. And I've also been told that he's something to behold, like a lobster, a huge and a red. When he sets out to slay with his reindeer arm, cutting bulging sacks with his big great arms. That is so I've heard it said. And on a dark cold night, under full moonlight, he flies into a fog like a vulture in the sky. And they call him Santa Claus.
their construction should be exceedingly simple, I think. How horrible our Christmas will be. No. How jolly. Oh, how jolly our Christmas will be. <laughs> what are you doing here? Jack said for us. Specifically. My name. Look. Jack. Mira. Jack. Jack. It's Pookie's voice. Ah. Howie's finest trick or treaters. The job I have for you is top secret. It requires craft, cunning, miss. And we thought you didn't like us, Jack. <laughs> Absolutely no one is to know about it, not a soul. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, the original Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Please welcome Captain O'Hara. Please welcome Paul Rubens.
It goes something like this. How about it? Think you can manage? A one and a two and a three and a Next! Fantastic! Now, why don't you all practice on that? And we'll be in great shape. So, I need your help. More than anyone's. You certainly do, Jack. I had the most terrible vision. That's splendid. No, it was about your Christmas. There was smoke and fire. That's not my Christmas. My Christmas is filled with laughter and joy and this. My Santa Claus outfit. I want you to make it. Jack, please listen to me. It's going to be a disaster. How could it be? Just follow the pattern. This part's red. The trim is white. It's a mistake, Jack. Now, don't be modest. Who else is clever enough to make my Sandy Claus outfit? I have every confidence in you. But it seems wrong to me. Very wrong. This device is called a nutcracker. Yeah, yeah. We, we got him! We got him! Yeah. Perfect! Open it up, quickly! <gasps> That's not Sandy Claus. Is it? Who is it? Bunny! <laughs> not Sandy Claus. Take him back. We followed your instructions. We went through the door. Which door? There's more than one. Sandy Claus is behind a door shaped like this. I told you! <laughs> I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Take him home first. And apologize again. Be careful with Sandy Claus when you fetch him. Treat him nicely. Got it. We'll get it right next time. You will be a decided improvement over that treacherous Sally. The plan. <laughs>
Bobby, Susie, yes, yeah, Susie's been nice. Nice, nice, naughty. Nice, nice, nice. There are hardly any naughty children this year. Now, who could that be? Isn't that wonderful? It could be more wonderful. But you're the Pumpkin King. Not anymore. And I feel so much better now. Jack, I know you think something's missing, but... Ow! Sorry. You're right. Something is missing. But what? I've got the beard, the coat, the boots, the Jack, belt. Jack! This time we bagged it. This time we really did. He sure is big, Jack. And Harvey! Let me go! Sandy Claus, in person. What a pleasure to meet you. What? Why, you have hands. You don't have claws at all. What? Where am I? Surprised, aren't you? I knew you would be. You don't need to have another worry about Christmas this year. What? 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 Consider this vacation, Sandy. A reward. It's your turn to take it easy. But, but there must be some mistake. See that he's comfortable. Just a second, fellow. Of course. That's what I'm missing. But, but that's... You just can't... Hold on. Where are we going now? Oh, ho, ho. This is oh. worse than I thought. Much worse. Oh. I... Oh. Me on vacation. On Christmas Eve? Where are we taking it? Where? To Oogie Boogie, of course. There isn't anywhere in the whole world more comfortable than that. And Jack said to make him comfortable, didn't he? Yes, he did. Haven't you heard of peace on earth and goodwill toward men? Shut this fellow up! 
stop. What, what are you going to do? I'm going to do the best I can. Yeah! <laughs>
knew this Christmas thing was a bad idea, I felt it in my gut. Terrible news, folks. The worst tragedy of our times. Jack has been blown to smithereens. Bye-bye, doll face. 
around this insane asylum. I hope there's still time to fix Christmas. Of course there is. I'm Santa Claus.
Thank you, everybody. I'm dedicating tonight's performance to Aaron Nicolaitis, who is not with us any longer. I want to thank you, Los Angeles, for coming out this last time. I can't hold a candle to the incredible Mr. Ken Page, but I'm going to do my own take, if I may, for Oogie Boogie's song.
starts to rain, not snow, but just the same. Happy Halloween. For this last piece, let me introduce Mr. Steve Bartek.
Thank you.